the mass of bluebells and it's still awkward to find a composition um, but I found a uh, tuft of ferns coming out nice lush green uh, with a low angle I can turn the blue into a carpet behind it so I'm focusing on the fern in the foreground two second timer and there's the shot now I'm going to focus mid ground two second timer Take that shot. Uh, quite pleased with that. Uh, gonna go find another composition. And I'm using a single bluebell head. And I'm putting the carpet of blue and green in the background two second timer actually moved the flower head as I took the shot there I'm running at tenth of a second so try again Let's wait for the breeze done it again so what I'm gonna do is up my ISO so I can get a faster shutter speed Wait for that gentle breeze to subside. Two second timer. Get the shot. Much better. quite liking these beehives I'm just gonna see if I can get a composition where I get the bluebells in the background of them there's quite a few of them these are the ones that are giving the better backdrop so, I'll see what I can work out here. Not so long ago, uh, tripods used to have a brace between the centre column and the legs. Uh, it stopped the legs from splaying out. But a lot of modern tripods I've done away with that so that you can splay the legs out and get your camera a lot lower to the ground uh, quite liking that but I've just missed this one out of the shot 
Now, quite like that. Two second timer. Right. I'm not bothered about movement in this shot. So I'm going to drop my ISO back down to 50. And my shutter speed can also drop down to get my exposure right. Two second timer. And here's that shot. Uh, with using a wide angle lens and having the edge of this hive close to the edge of the frame it's actually distorted it a bit so I can either move back a bit further so there's less distortion uh, which would then allow me to zoom in a bit or I can move it round a bit so this hive closest to the camera isn't as close to the edge of the frame two second timer on that See what that looks like. Right, I'm gonna go find another composition. basic editing. Um, I'm going to select the images in Lightroom, right click, edit in Photoshop as layers. These images will all open up. on top of each other because the camera hasn't moved it makes it a lot easier because I don't have to align them because they'll all be from exactly the same position so, well those are just opening there's the second one which has got the mid in focus last image with a foreground in focus. Now uh, look at the layers and I'm going to hold the shift button and click on the bottom one so it selects them all. Then I can just combine them all together. like that. Now this is gonna select all the bits that are in focus from each image and it's gonna apply layer masks over them. Um, so just let this load up. The reason it's taking so long is because these are full size raw images. 6,000 by 4,000 pixels. So the large files. So 
So there it is, it's put them all together. You can see that everything's in focus. And you can see the masks, where it's white is where it's kept that part of the image. So what I'm going to do now is just merge them. What I like to do is merge visible layers. So it's merged them all as one, so it's all on one layer. And then close it and save. saves the image and it will automatically reload as a TIFF in the Lightroom. So it's already there in my catalogue. Catch you on the flip side.